Are they scared, Libra? Are you fucking kidding me? You cut off while I'm trying to talk? Don't send no confusion bullshit this way. It's nothing. We go for the gusto over here. Like, as soon as I said Sarah Swatty, motherfuckers is like, nah, shut that down. Sarah Swatty means something. You dig? Like I was saying before I was, like, cut off. <laughs> and, and justly. We crack it up over here, us librarians. Or me, the speaker for the librarians. Okay? And... I mentioned like I, I mentioned Sarah Swatty and it's like boop boop beep boop what what like I said the create you are creative and in, intuitive and you give insight and usually Sarah Swatty does not appear only appears when you have surrendered to your creativity the endless stream that we only catch glimpses of but can feed us for life as I was explaining, and you're a sacred river, you're flowing with divine wisdom, you nourish people with, you know, you give them nectar for your soul, you could be well, well-roundedly talented in art, music, dance, or liter literature, quite literally, you have new ideas, and you're flourishing, and you're channeling through the most high, that wisdom is coming from the most high, so when you get Sarah Swatty in your spread, it appears in an ingenious moment when you think of something straight from the heavens and you lose yourself in your dance, when you become one with the music, you know, you're a source of all inspiration. You're embodying the, the cosmos through like communication, strong communication, meditation, intuition, speech, sound. You know, you deliver the message to pursue the creative idea with full force. And you're fully supported. You're blessed. That's what that means. Libra, you're blessed. You see how you're the painter on this? You use your hands and you create aromatherapy and is meant to hydrate the soul. Okay? And on the bottom of that is Buddy. Buddy. Okay? That is your inner wisdom and intellect, wise one. It's like you're now remembering what you were born with and all the answers that you're seeking. You have realized the strong influence. You are very massive, strong influence. And you're going to be over the culture, over the community, over everything. Okay? It's not about learning, but rather relearning and letting go of those illusions so we can remember our innate solutions. You silence the chatter of the mind to allow the whispers of the soul. You're not over analytical about this one, Libra. And to speak and are now beginning to truly read all the knowledge that's in you, the textbooks that exist in you, that's your knowledge, your innate wisdom. You know, it's time to rewrite your story authored by the great wisdom of your soul. That's why Sarah Swati's here. Hmm. Yeah, that motherfuckers got mad. Like, I forgot what I was saying, too. I'm busy talking about how all this beautiful stuff about what you're doing and how you're loving on yourself and how you just get lost and immersed in what you're doing, Libra. You have Hawman. Oh that's somebody who stands independently too. And that's clarified by Naomis. Dig. Libra, what was I going to say about... Someone owes you. Something about somebody owing you. And they know that they owe you. And they're going to make it up to you big time. Especially as they're seeing you doing it big like that. It's like, I, you're not getting away from me. You're just not getting away from me. I want to know what love is. And I want you to show it to me. I want you to show it to me. Because you come with all that courage. Like You got a lot of heart, Libra. Mm -hmm. You have an involved mind and the potential we all have to no longer be enslaved to our thoughts, but rather surpass them. Right? You want to practice, pray, you, you're strong in your prayers or practice meditative states where you are reminded of God's truth to aid you in your involvement. Your involvement, like your evolution. Mm-hmm. And they're scared. Because it's about what you're going to do next. Y'all should be afraid of what I'm going to do next. Hold up. On to the next one. 
you practice the law of personal observance. As you're like beginning to reap the, the rewards of the inner transformational work you did, Libra, it's just like the beginning of life long practice of personal observance. You like tune into what your soul needs at this moment. It's like if there's toxins in your body or your mind, you're purifying it. And you're experiencing contentment for all the blessings you've been given. Somebody's strength training a lot. Because I just made a strong ass muscle while I was talking. Okay, somebody's like their their arms are a little, you know how your muscles contract after you done lifted like weights, like really heavy weights. But there's always more that you'll find when you open up the pathway to your true spirit and take some extra time to yourself every day. This is making this man crazy. Or this woman crazy. Crazy. Not a source. They're happier with you than they are without you. This man is this man or woman is like, I should have put a damn baby in there. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, okay. Oh wow. Friendship. Support, fun, unit, play. That's what I miss about you. That's what I love about you, baby. Shamanic journey. Purpose, attunement, vision, quest. Grateful optimism. Joyous view of the future. Like, I see it. I see my future in you. You see how she's, like, lit up from within. She is a... You are a vibe. She is a vibe. She is. Um, and I picked the deck up. One half says divine feminine. That's right. Magnetic receptive power. You drawing somebody in. You draw people in with that divine feminine energy because that's that's your that's your quality. That's your star power. That's why I heard that song. But you're also setting boundaries. The threshold protection or honor doesn't mean everybody has full on access to it. You know, friendship. These are Muslim sisters here, and that's who you're connecting with or converting or uh, people are converting to Islam out of respect of what they learn from you. Because it's not what you know is what you can prove, you know. And that shamanic journey is that spiritual journey. It's like, all right, certain things end for different things to begin. And with with this, how I feel about this, it's like, I didn't meet this person for no reason. Things shift around all the time, but this hit different. This hit my spirit different. I want to explore it, you know. I have a lot of optimism and I'm grateful for what this person brings to the table. Why? Because that is the divine feminine. I feel like somebody's going to try to call you and cuss you out about your person. And you're going to be like, you're not allowed to talk ill on my person's name and hang the phone up. They're going to feel so stupid. That's for somebody. Because you set boundaries like that about your person. We don't have to speak. I ain't gonna disrespect them behind his back. That's kind of lame. But this shamanic journey that you're on is like opening up the portal to the Jenna for people. People are really like riding your wave and not in a dick riding way. And you're creating the canvas. You're narrating your own life story, your own experience. Using your hands and aromatherapy. You can make, you make, you clearly make beauty products in the privacy of your own space. You make your house smell good with your own remedies, your skin and nails, your hair. Everything's healthy and hydrated. You cook a lot from scratch. The puppeteer. Baby, you see those two people on there? Explanations and apologies. I was I didn't want to play puppet master with you. Damn. You can't do the Queen of Pentacles like that. I feel like she created the makeup that's on her face as well. And the makeup, like, uh oh, you got the witch. Experimentation rebellion. Okay, King of Wands, you done attracted some voodoo priestess and they messing with your person, the runaway.
Secrets running from problems. Relax your mind and let your conscience be free. You got high with the wrong person. Because you have a, a weird sense of loyalty with somebody you know was fucked up towards you. Especially with the witch here. The weaver. They call your two of cups. I like to call this my two of cups. Rediscovery and transition. It's like you need you need to be redirected back home. You don't you haven't found your way back home yet. You hear that dog barking? With the hound? The hound is here? Unloyalty. That loyalty, that weird sense of loyalty, the alchemist. Balance, invention, destruction. It's like you took a weird path. Your man took a weird path, Libra. And you're learning it through your self-discovery. It's like something's going on. He wanna he don't know how to quite come tell you this. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a little embarrassed. Just a little bit. And then you got the adventurer. Like, shit. Something about... He got a little cocky. All up in your world. Now you feel like he can do anything. Now he has to free himself. Like the runaway. Like it says in the runaway. And you got the fate. Accepting help and guidance. He's ready... He's ready now. Like, he had to take that weird-ass turn. Like, this gives me the vibe of Kevin Gates made a song about women who practice witchcraft on him. To try to make them make him fall in love with them. And you got the waker. Like, I'm wide awake. Like, Katy Perry. Awareness. Reflection. He realized who his real friends are, too. When I look at this friendship card, this shamanic journey, it's like... Taking a, a step down this, this journey with the Page of Pentacles. Go right, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. It's like, I don't know who, who to trust, who not. It's like, this energy make me feel away, but then it drives me crazy at the same time. It's very intense. So as the puppeteer, I just feel bad that your person went through that. I just do. It's like, don't feel bad for him. I have a lot of empathy. Like, I feel really bad that your person went through that. Like, you think about it. When you see the puppeteer, picture, like, soft curls of sawdust litter litter the floor. And the scent of wood shavings fill the air. Shelves, cupboards, tabletops are covered with wooden figures. Some half-assembled, some not yet fully carved. Each one lovingly made and tenderly painted. Okay. The puppeteer does not know the fear of being alone when loneliness calls. They simply create their own company. But these puppets will never be equal of human companionship. And though they will not admit it to themselves, the puppeteer will never be fully satisfied. So conjuring real social skills can be a challenge. People have their own feelings and their own lives. And it's easy to say or do the wrong thing. But you're not the only person to have made an embarrassing mistake in the past. So own up to it and smooth things over. An apology or explanation is a small price to pay to maintain an important relationship. Okay. And if it's like the opposite of that, it's like you may have made the first step towards apologizing or perhaps you're still too afraid to speak up and admit that you were wrong. But whatever the situation there is an element of resentment that it may not be possible to forgive or forget, but sometimes the best thing is to accept that things are irredeemable and move on separately. So this person, that could be where the imbalance is with the, the two of pentacles. Okay. And then you have with the, the witch card being here. It's like, picture that the scent of new fruit hangs in the air, bright and refreshing. A pestle grinds in its bowl. The sound of stone on stone and soothing repetition, just as the first plants of spring burst forth from cracks between the paving stones, so too does the witch push her boundaries in search of new magics, plural. Knowledge exists only to be expanded upon, reshaped, and reformed to a new and exciting purpose. So this world is full of old wisdom, right? But some advice is too outdated for the modern lives we live now. Tradition is a set of guides, not a strict rule book. 
If you find that you're being held back by how you should approach a situation, break from tradition and forge your own route. Surround yourself with others who think outside the box and embrace a new tradition. You, Libra, would be that new tradition. It's not witchcraft, quite literally. That's where the experimentation and rebellion, where two differences form together and create something anew. So as you see the runaway... Where somebody seeing is from a different perspective. It's like picture the streets are busier than usual, and a number of people and voices clamoring in the market is overwhelming, right? But even amongst them, one person stands out, dressed in clothes that look a little too foreign, a map in their hands, a look of uncertainty on their face. The runaway has lived in a cage their entire life, protected yet stifled by wealth and a good family. But the runaway longed for new experiences but was unable to break free. Now that they finally made their escape, however, they realize the world outside is too vast and they fear that they can't ask for help lest someone send them back home again. Now, it's normal to want to run from your problems rather than facing them. But you'll soon find that this won't resolve anything. Your problems will simply follow you until you're overwhelmed by everything you've been avoiding. It's time to start admitting to yourself that you're running from whatever you're running from and address it. But for once, if somebody is deciding you're not running from, from a situation, you're running from yourself and making your life difficult for no apparent reason. What are you punishing yourself for? Why are you still carrying this guilt around? Let it go and make sure that you're living a life free from self-hatred. And that hound is that sense of undying loyalty is like misplaced when something's not quite right for you. It's just sitting in an experience where you just, it just don't fit the bill for you. And rather than address it head on and just like propel yourself forward, you just sitting in it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the weaver is like I said, it's like drawing two differences together, taking something from each truth and making something new. Your alchemist is balance, invention, and destruction. It's like tear down faulty foundations in yourself, not just your outer. It's not outer, it's about going inner. And while you're the adventurer, picture the gates, you're at the gates of somewhere and a small group is gathered with horses carts bags laden with supplies but it's clear that they intend to be gone for a long time but one figure gazes back as though they fear they'll never see it again and they must step out of their safe zone become a part of something larger but they are but are they ready and as an adventurer you never wanted more than a than their small life and they fear of failure is crippling. Somehow you've ended up in this position in which the weight of expectation is heavier than you wanted and unwanted responsibility is a heavy burden and there are plenty of people waiting for you to fail but there are just as many waiting to catch up and help you. Don't try to face it alone. It's safe to ask for help but break the task down into smaller parts and take it day by day or even hour by hour if you need to but there's no greater achievement than proving your naysayers wrong somebody is prejudiced against your newfound friendship or your prejudice against your newfound friendship due to outdated beliefs and the outdated beliefs or tradition you're forced to rebel against it based off of how you feel and based off of newfound inspiration, new insight, new creativity, and new, like you're surrendering to it. I feel like you're mirroring each other, but in different experiences is leading you to each other. You as the painter and this person as the magician. And then you have the fate was fated for you. Because you're not for everybody. Embrace your weirdness. 
that's for somebody. The fates is like you're at the court gardens, stretched out before you, alive with the sound of birdsong. A couple passes in distance, their laughter faint and cheerful. The sun, encompassed in his blue sky, warms the world around you. All is peaceful, and yet you feel as though you're being watched. The fate sees everyone. It sees their lives like shining threads weaving the tapestry of life. But the fate sees each person's beginning and when and where their stories end. They are sworn not to interfere when those threads get tangled, but they can still offer some insight here and there. So some of you are unexpected. Some unexpected help is due to come your way. You may not be able to see what's causing your struggles or know of those who plot against you, but others can, and they won't let you face it ununiformed. This guidance may come from an unexpected source, so look out for the signs that will guide you in the right direction. Somebody could see somebody working against you and they give you a heads up. They're there for you as you need to. So somebody could have been blocking this magician energy from coming to you to, in a manipulative fashion. I feel like it's a gatekeeper, but in for the betterment of you, for the protection of you, Libra, because you're way too charming. Okay. Way too charming. And sometimes you don't see the, the ill in people because you love everybody. You like you, this person is aware and it has, and it is offering like they, it's also about reflection as a waker, like on the bottom of the deck, the waker. I don't know you to be nothing other than a sweetheart. You got, as a waker, you got two siblings that sit in a room, one sleeping, the other one's awake. Neither moves, neither addresses you, but when they speak, their words are pure prophecy. The waker is a keeper of knowledge, the one who sees all with an unblinking eye. They see everything that happens in this world and all that will come to pass, but they're blinded from self-understanding. So right now, it's important to practice awareness of your surroundings, current events, and the lives of those around you can be overwhelming, but you're only ever seeing part of the story. The ability to think critically and ask key questions is an important skill. Be perceptive about the situations happening around you and trust your own gut before acting. Inner and outer events are connecting. So what it feels like to you and what's happening on the outside definitely connects. It's like you trust your intuition. Your premonition is correct. So your premonition about this person is correct. Or this person's premonition about you is correct. Okay? So when you put all this together, you're not you're encouraging somebody to stop running away from their problems, stop being loyal to toxic situations, and come up with a different strategy. Like you're learning from a different avenue. Like it's not just from the holy books. Now you're learning from someone who not only practiced the holy book, but practiced uh, empathic ability. So those are psychic abilities and they can, with God's permission, give you positive counsel, positive, you know, positive feedback on, and they can pick up on things without you having to speak on it. And they're not manipulating the energy at all. You know, it, it may seem a little rebellious to a traditional or a conformant, but you've met a non-conformant and they turned your whole world upside down. Libra, this is you turning somebody's world upside down. And you also met another non-conformant who has turned your world upside down. I feel like you meeting each other has sharpened all of your abilities, Libra, and them as well. Their spirit is more awakened. With the shamanic journey and grateful optimism joyous view of the future like you see things from a much broader perspective now and you're wide open to receive it with as a divine feminine you're magnetic your receptive power like you're able to receive the information it's like a zinc that vitamin the zinc how it teach it helps your body absorb more vitamins more you intake more you know as an alchemist it's like you destruct 
everything that is blocking your path of creativity, insight, and intuition. Your higher intellect. Damn, y'all don't come to play. Y'all don't come to play. Now, give me one for the puppeteer. For you, Libra. Because Umi said to shine your light on the world. So, for you, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay? But separation is on the horizon. Time apart from your person is on the horizon. And that justifies explanations and apologies as the puppeteer. I wasn't, you may feel manipulated or taken advantage of on some level. And somebody was playing puppet master with you, or there was a third party playing Muppet, puppet master trying to manipulate energy. So what about the witch? Okay. Trust. The situation is calling you to have faith. And then what's clarifying that is release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. I think you've motivated someone to release their ex. You're just, you're just, they're just not happy there. And you have released your ex. And the runaway. Finances and career. Secrets running from problems. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And it is safe for you to love. You know, open your heart and give the receive. Give and receive the highest energy of all. I don't think you have a problem loving your person. Or your person has a problem feeling like they can love you. A man is not happy. Or a man or a woman. Neither one of you are happy in the tax bracket that you're in. And that's the problem. That's the secret. It's like nobody wants to show up incompetent or unprepared. You know, it's like the runaway. If you look at the card, it's like you are this beautiful flower. Somebody tried to smother you or keep you bound and mundane and just unsuccessful when you have the highest potential to be a top earner. Right? And the secret is like you're running away from settling. You don't want nobody smothering you like that no more. And you're unnecessarily loyal and bound to this, this, what the fuck, calling in your soulmate over top of the hound. Your prayers and affirmations, visualizations help bring you two together. And then you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, but that was in reverse. Alhamdulillah. You're not committing. Somebody is pushed. Okay. Don't. So if I think I'm going to lose my person, guess what? I will not commit to anybody who's toxic for me. And for, and it just I, I just feel like it lowers frequency. It messes with the money. It messes up the money. Or you could be spending your money on things that make you more happy. And it's messing up. It's just showing signs. It's like it's more than one way to skin a cat. It's more than one way to say I want out. Or I'm not happy. Or I'm trying to manifest something better. Or I know I can do better. Okay, and that's engagement is in reverse on top of the hound for what the hound represents is loyalty, chains, and promises. And this has nothing to do with you being on the up and up. This is un I promised this person I would stick with them for better or for worse because we already had problems in the past. And the engagement is in reverse. Calling off non-commitment. Okay, because I'm calling in my soulmate and something about you calling in a better fit or a better partner, your prayers and affirmations and visual visualizations is helping bring you closer with your person. So for the weaver, rediscovery, transition, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I feel like every day is going to be a holiday for you and your person. Forgiving and learning. All right, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Somebody is going to, that two of cups, okay, that insight, that intuition, that creativity with the weaver that matched the Saraswati card. I think you're going to look past the differences or why this person ghosted you in the first place. If you know, you got the alchemist. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. 
as it should. Balance, intervention, and destruction, religious structure, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by the religious upbringings and spiritual path. So the religion in the household could have been to say you're one thing, but don't fundamentally practice it. You could be the Orthodox Christian, the Orthodox Jew, even the Orthodox Muslim, meaning you practice the bare minimum of saying, yeah, I believe in God, or I believe in Jesus, or I believe in Muhammad. I believe in the last day. I know that stuff is coming, but that's a, that's it. You stop right there with the shit. Or the practice of spiritual disconnection and dysfunction behind closed doors. And it's, it's like, there's no self-love in that. You don't... You have to put God first to practice to love yourself first to even love somebody else. And that could have been the religion in the household that we grew up in. We as people. So what about the adventurer? All right, eccentric rock star C. Beautifully put. Please continue. Make the effort. Responsibility expectations for the adventurer. I like how this hand is like, there's a volcano in the background. You set my soul on fire. My one desire is to love you very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Just to keep you satisfied by Marvin Gaye. Yeah. It's like if it's that easy, it, it'll make you think it's not worth it. But loving you is easy likewise. I don't want anybody playing mind games with stroking and striking me, thinking that they're making it a challenge to make me, manipulate me into loving them. That's the rebellion. That's also catering to the, the wish experimentation and rebellion. You have to release your ex because one thing your ex has a tendency of doing is stroking and striking you or your person, okay, by making them feel like that's them. They have to make the effort. They have to fight for my love. Okay, and it's really just abusing, emotionally and mentally abusing you or your person. Libra, you seem to have stepped away from some bullshit like that. You dig? What worth waiting for? The fate, accepting help and guidance is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, somebody's getting rechristened, repentance, new shahada, converting. For your family, for your love, for your spiritual connection. Like a Christian and a Jewish person, somebody's converting to Judaism or somebody's converting to Islam or just tightening up on their relationship with God. Yeah. And then that's clarified by flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to each other. It's like this is going to be a lengthy process. And what you want to do is remain kind to each other. It's big on kindness here. With beginning with true love and ending with worth waiting for. Separation and flirt. When you do get to speak to each other, make sure it's lighthearted and kind because this process is not easy. While in the meantime, you're creating endeavors that you're hand making products with aromatherapy and you're hydrating your spirits. Like you're feeding, you're watering your spiritual garden. Also taking care of yourself and you're mastering that you're taking that on a global scale because what's on the bottom what's on the bottom of my last deck is the world global success and what about it start new shit but I thought what's up <laughs> stop chill what was on that man's side the ace of what what was it ace of cups and ace of wands initially let's pull them cards back up to the surface there we go ace of cups six of wands and the ace of wands the told you this this person won a victory I I need a hit I need to win I need to win. I need to nail this right the first time. And clearly, you got to go with God to do it because God is here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, very creative energy. Now the Ace of Wands is here again. Fool's energy. 
Yeah, bruh. Somebody's not playing with you, Libra. They getting they act together. And they asking God to preserve you in the meantime because we mentioned early or in the other video part of the video that got cut off is like it doesn't mean just because you're not you're separated from your person. That's very much a, a fact. You are separated from your person, and it doesn't mean that you out there fuck you know fucking on other people. People People are going to want you because of your energy, okay? Ten pentacles. Ten. Okay, whenever there's a ten, there's an ace. Clarified by the eight of wands. This is happening fast. Like, eight of wands is a big yes card. Yes. Scale my business. Let me scale my business. Let me scale my relationship. Let me learn more holy scripture and recite it when I'm struggling, when I'm being a human being and I'm struggling through my emotions. I, too many negative thoughts are trying to overtake the conversation. My hormones are calling the then. I'm thinking a lot about my person. Let me read these holy scriptures. Let me fast, okay? Empress, Libra, Libra, Libra. You're going to get pregnant. The Ace of Wands is here twice. And you know what? The feelings is mutual. That's three times that's confirming fertility and not just creation and insight creativity but this is speaking of you creating some shit your frequency is so high right now that you poof somebody look at you you're getting pregnant look at the magician with the queen of swords mentally tapped in both of you are mentally tapped in both of you are strategically creating something to call your own let me build this nest egg what's on the what's the empress on the bottom six of pentacles reciprocity i want respect and I want it now. It's like, but the Empress and the Six of Pentacles is what is like feeding into the community. It's like giving back in a way that feeds the people. Use your hands, aromatherapy, hydrate. You're, that's a natural born leader, obviously, librarian. And then you, what I say about the Two of Cups? What I say, tell me I'm right. It's okay. You can put in the comments. Tell me I'm right. Two of Cups. Clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The more you focus on yourself, the more this person is focused on you. The more you focus on yourself, the more this person is fixated on you. Let's go the distance. Okay? These are messages. It's like my friendship with you is important to me. My friendship with you was important to me. The sun card. Look at that little baby. Death and transformation. You bring it. I feel like you're going to birth an ancestor. Somebody who's already ascended away on earth. Like they put back into the ground. So your children can remind you of your ancestors. Bro. King of Cups. That's more Scorpio energy. Oh, man. Four of Cups. We know you feel some type of way. You're real sad about the separation or your person is real sad about the separation. It's like, I don't want to be loyal to stupid people no more. I don't want to be insanely. I don't want to be a father figure to somebody's immature ass child. I don't want to. Like, we're supposed to be partners. We equal give and take. And I like how the King of Cups is right underneath the Empress. Like, the Empress can operate as the King of Cups. Somebody who's fair, decent, respects everybody, treats everybody the same. When you look at the surrounding cards, you got the Six of Pentacles, the Four of, of uh, Cups, Apathy. You, dis you dismantle any rudeness or apathy. Like, you, you restore, you're a restoration. You hydrate people. Like, you restore love and respect. You put that love and respect back into the community, into people into yourself you practice you serve the most high like it happens quick like people see a quick turnaround when it comes to you and when i split the deck you got the king of swords which is matching the queen of swords and the ace of pentacles like you putting your hands together and making it do what it do yes you are and then the king of wands and clarified by the the five of wands conflicts it's like he's leaving a lot of people behind to make this make sense not just dollars and cents 
but just make this make sense like somebody's calling a truce and somebody is like really on the six of wands like on the, that is gaining popularity is gaining notoriety i told you when sarah swati get in the mix that's you know you on to something via insight creativity leadership a lot of creativity the empress is here for multiple reasons like yeah you already the queen of pentacles you're already a mother you're going to have more children with the two of cups look at the surrounding cards the fool the two of cups the ace of wands page of pentacles ten of pentacles the sun that's children that's more children for everybody like that's ten pentacles that's like between the two y'all y'all can already come to the table with children both of y'all unique independently and you're going to make more children that's going to equal 10 kids put together like i got a few over here i got a few over here and together we made a few more that's 10 kids with that ace of wands here twice the empress like people know you to be pregnant it's like you not being pregnant it's like that's kind of weird to see you not pregnant like i'm i need that belly like i'm i love your energy when you're pregnant you're such a Oh, Satan, Satan, defeat the enemy. The devil is not welcome here. Two of, two of wands, ten of swords. And that's what the deck is like. You're walking away from everything. Like you're unusual. You don't need to be loyal to people that mentally challenge you and pick your brain and just, just to fuck you up on purpose. I feel like that was done on purpose for somebody. Like you just want to keep this person bound to you out of fear. And it's a misplaced sense of loyalty because this person is, it's like, it's almost easy to make this person feel guilty. Call judgment, use discernment. Like you don't want people to stroke and strike you all, all the time. Like somebody's always trying to make you feel bad about something that you're doing that's right for you. I don't think you did that. Libra, I think you're the opposite. I think when you listen to what the person have to say, I got a lot on my mind you could have easily written it off like oh you're just making excuses you're just trying to play me you said okay take all the time you need something like that that let me tell you something that man dick was got he got her so fucking fast like oh my god she is awesome love i'm such a geek about her when everybody else would have cussed me out or just chased me and hounded me i'm just i just need space it's okay take all the space you need reciprocity because you realize you're wise enough to know that you are first of all divine feminine and the empress is on the board okay the king of cups the king of swords the what's the king of wands the king of wands is here too twice i'm still attracted to you i'll always be attracted to you i'm attracted to your mind okay i know who you are wait a minute oh yeah wait the king of pentacles is not here i'm about to say that's all four kings but your emperor is here and time apart from each other will spiritually incline you. Absence always makes the heart grow fonder. Always. And this person has a green heart for you. That's not the spirit of envy. That is green is the heart chakra. That's love. There's a pink and a green heart here. That is love. That is respect. That is shrewd in business. It's like, if I'm going to have all these kids, I got to have a way to feed them so you can stay home and take care of them. You can work from home, as a matter of fact. It's like nothing like two paychecks is always better than one. Four paychecks, as a matter of fact. I see multiple streams of income, passive income. Like you could be a realtor or just somebody who invests in equity, who, who pushes their, their generational wealth, who invests in generational wealth via equity. Some people say that's not the play anymore, but bullshit. Don't tell me how to make my money. Don't tell me what I'm good at. Don't tell me how to run my online platform. That's building a business too. Multiple platforms. Passive income. Ten pentacles. Ten kids. You got to feed them all. It's a, it's a source of income per child. Between the two of you, the reciprocity between the two of you, with the ace of pentacles here, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Divine Feminine. You about to meet your true friend. Indeed. Okay? Support, fun, unity, play. Keep that lighthearted energy that keeps it up. 
even if that person is at a different pace in their shamanic journey, if this works, this is a hit. This is that victory that person is looking for. Okay? He needs a victory. It has to be something. I have to get this right. I'm going to mastermind this shit. I don't care how long it takes. I'm trying to hurry up, but I don't... This needs to be fast. It's four wands in this magician picture. That's the infinity symbol with the eight. Okay, the sword, the cup, is like the pentacle. I have everything in me that can possibly... I, I, got, I received all these, material, these materialistic things as well as spiritual through past experiences. So I can pick up all these broken pieces and create something different, something better. This has to be a hit. I'm on to something. I just haven't figured all of it out yet, but I'm there. I'm there with you. I'm there mentally. Like, you're not getting away from me that easily. Watch me mastermind this shit. And that's what's happening in separation. You as the Queen of Swords, if you need to see the picture again, you see how you're painting your canvas, you're rewriting your story through the depths of your soul, mastermind. And this person is like, I'm going to take all these broken ass experiences and mastermind this shit it has to it builds character first of all what i'm seeing with this person showing up as a magician is like everything this person has experienced is shaping his character for better not worse you gonna go from the four of cups to the king of cups to match my empress mm -hmm. it's those things that's being worked out in the background that's not yet revealed yet one mass at a time. That's why separation is here. That's why there's so many Libra readings coming back to back to back. Take your time. I'm taking my time with you. It's patience. I'm very patient. Usher, nice and slow. I can't gusto this shit with you. You're too delicate of a creature. I cannot come at you like that, but that comes from being a lion from the wild. Is why I come off super aggressive like that. But it's just my way of showing I care. That was my love language for a long time. That is not love. That is surface level. I was in very lusty energy. And I'm still in lusty energy. My dick will always be hard for you. Don't forget that. However, beautiful. It's something different about you. you your aura is different. I can't aggressively. I have to take it. Be more sensual. Be less aggressive with you. I just want to take care of you the right way. So as you teach me how to take my time with you, I'm going to finay, filet mignon, you. Passionately. I'm going to start with your mind, your body, and your spirit. I'm taking over everything for the gusto. And you're, you are teaching me that you're going to do the same thing with that reciprocity. And it's two of cups. And it's page of pentacles. Like we, we can take this journey together. Or I can walk with you through this journey and see how it shapes and molds my mentality, my mind, my body, my spirit. I'm going to take this walk with you. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it its fair chance after all. What's the worst thing that can happen? I have nothing but broken threads of weaving and I'm going to weave it back together to make something better for myself. So I can have something better for you. But when you get in your bag, Libra, you shit. All right, eccentric, okay? You're reading the shit out of Libra's energy or the person is telepathically speaking to Libra like that, okay? And this this is like protected. You may think it's, it's a done deal or the person ran away with something more faster or something that's more compatible with a, a different frequency that may be operating at a different, different frequency, but... I'm looking at this Queen of Swords and this Magician. It's not a different frequency. It's a bond. I said it. God does not defend lies. That's a bond. That's like Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. Say what the fuck you want about them, but they have a bond. They are soul's inspiration. Okay? Somebody wants to win and somebody is deeply is learning that they're spiritual. They're more spiritual than they inclined. I think they always knew that they were spiritual. Okay, but they too have a spiritual connection and nothing motivates this man more to win than to be connected and immersed in her energy. He's competitive by himself, very smart by himself, can do a lot by himself. But when he's with her, there's no place he'd rather be. He loves her. 
That's y'all. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> okay, Libra. I'm going to stop right there until the next mass is revealed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.